Yeah, so it started off as a typical Monday, dreading like Monday going back to work. And then I go to work and my boss says, does anyone want to go to a baseball game tonight? I have some extra tickets. Me. It was a last minute thing. And thankfully I have a down ass best friend who just said, yes, let's do it. Let's go. She went with me. We had an awesome time. We were like two kids who like, it was, it felt like it was my first time at Disneyland. And yeah. We got these cool jerseys. Gosh, I'm so thankful and I'm so grateful that I'm literally surrounded by angels all the time who want to see me at baseball games. It's crazy to think that I was about to say no to these Dodger game tickets only because I thought, oh, it's a work week, it's Monday, I need to be at work tomorrow morning. But I'm so happy I did it. I can lose some sleep for this once in a lifetime moment that like I'm gonna remember forever. And I really don't mind losing sleep for that. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Just kidding, I'll sleep tomorrow night. I have plenty of time to sleep baseball games i love them and here's to many more dodgers clubhouse come on yeah we're like the happiest girls ever right now this is where it's at we can get used to this we made it in life guys we've made it in life <laughs> this is our game, first game of the season no it's my second game i came to opening day but this is better than opening day i and i love opening day Show them your jersey. You gotta move your hair. <laughs> That's her jersey. Isn't it cute? And it's crazy because like, there she is. <laughs> it's, it's so crazy because I wanted to come to the Jackie Robinson day, but I was like, I'm not gonna make it because of work. And then next thing you know, my boss gave me his tickets and he of course has dugout tickets. And it just was way better. Way better. parking and all. <laughs> right behind Tommy Lasorda. Look, he's right there. Well, not... Well, almost right behind, but still. <laughs> the fact that we're sitting behind a legend is amazing. What is our life? Like... I know. Earlier, we went to the dining area, or like the dining room, and they had like an open buffet, and I felt like I couldn't even eat. I just wanted to cry and throw up at the same time. We were so excited. We were. But now we're hungry. <laughs> we're hungry again. We're stuffing our faces here. The last time I was here, I literally snuck in a tamal. Now I'm over here grabbing non-stop. Yep. Life is good. The way to a girl's heart is food and, and baseball. <laughs> <laughs> this girl getting all philosophical. I'm just about the food and the game, man. <laughs> Once he doesn't strike out. I know. He's supposed to. He got this. He's, he's got this. Got it like every inning that he's been playing, basically. Nervous. Oh! Alright, Muncie. He's striking out. <laughs> Yeah, we ate a lot. A lot. A lot. Like, I shouldn't even be eating anymore, but... Oh, well, we it's don't... so good. When are we ever going to do this again? Hopefully sometime in the future, but still. 
I even have my Paris blanket because it's cold. I always keep this blanket in my car for emergencies. In honor for you guys. In honor of Paris right now, Notre Dame is burning up. So there it is. <laughs> well, we hope everything's good. We both get super like extra and we're super extra. Super like excited about stuff. day ever the last time i felt this happy was when i was in paris so it felt like we were living the best Same. days best life best days it's best friends best friends <laughs> bye. bye before i close everything off i did want to say that i've never felt more poor in my life by going to the dugout club because i'm gonna expect that type of treatment every time i go to the game now but it also motivates me to work hard so that one day maybe I can continue going to the dugout club. So I'll keep working hard until that happens. Bye!